During May, we celebrated the completion of the Crystal City Multimodal Center. And we'll tell you more about that later in our program, but first... The Arlington County Police Department and Sheriff's Office gathered with members of the public to honor and pay tribute to the memory of Arlington law enforcement officers who gave their lives in service to their community. For the first time since the police memorial statue was dedicated in 2005, a fallen Arlington County law enforcement officer's name was added in remembrance. Corporal Harvey Snook passed away on January 14, 2016, as the result of cancer contracted while working in recovery efforts at the Pentagon following the terrorist attack on September 11th. Corporal Snook was a U.S. Army veteran and had served with the Arlington County Police Department for 27 years. To learn more about the sacrifice of Arlington County's fallen officers, visit the Hall of Honor website at police.arlingtonva.us. Arlington County and the Knox Civic Association officially unveiled our newest historical markers, which have been installed at Jenny Dean Park. The park's location honors Jenny Dean, founder of the Manassas Industrial School, a vocational education program for African-American youth established in 1893. The park plays an important role in the history of South Arlington as a center of the African-American community sports and recreation activities in the era of segregation. You can see the markers and enjoy the 12-acre park, which includes ball fields, tennis and basketball courts, and a picnic shelter. It's located at 3630 27th Street South in Arlington. And we had more news to celebrate in Crystal City, where the county announced the completion of the Crystal City Multimodal Center. Let's take a look. Well, we're here to celebrate the completion of the Crystal City Multimodal Center. Um, this was a partnership between Arlington, our Northern Virginia Transportation Authority, and the state, where we rebuilt 18th Street from Clark Bell over to Eade Street on 18th. We created additional transit capacity for new uh, bus bays to accommodate our regional carriers as well as our hotel shuttles. Um, we also improved pedestrian connect conditions, connecting the Pentagon City, improved bike infrastructure, lighting, um, so we're really pleased with this project. The whole idea in Arlington is to make it really easy for people to use forms of travel other than driving alone. And this project is very much delivering on that. So for example, uh, hotel shuttles would regularly block the Metrobus and Art bus bays. This intersection would be blocked. And so our Metro buses, our Art buses would not be able to move. Same was true on Crystal Drive, because those same buses would be just stopping in the travel lane. So by making these changes, we make the whole transit operation a whole lot better. Transportation problems are not local problems. This, the footprint of this project is relatively small, but the impact of it is tremendous. It, it feeds past Crystal City, throughout Arlington County, and throughout all of Northern Virginia. Because this is a place where we often say a, uh, a stopped train in Arlington at seven in the morning creates parking problems in Woodbridge by eight o'clock. Um, I will tell you, it doesn't, it's not easy to do all the things that, t that get you to be the best city in the country for millennials. We have to work really hard at that, and a lot of that is around transportation and transportation choices. What we find in terms of the research for millennials is they are not so much invested in um, owning a vehicle, their status isn't necessarily tied to uh, the vehicle they purchase. It's more about experience, it's more about being connected. And so if they can have experiences and be connected and walk, bike, use transit, you know, that is actually delivering on some of the things they're looking for. And that's what we're trying to provide here in Arlington. A big thanks to the Northern Virginia Transportation Authority for partnering with Arlington on this important project. You can find out more about the Multimodal Center and all of the many, many projects in the works by heading to projects.arlingtonva.us. And speaking of big projects, please join the Joint Facilities Advisory Commission for a public forum to review potential scenarios for the Buck property located off Quincy Street and Virginia Hospital Center site at 601 South Carlin Springs Road. 
During this interactive forum, participants will have a chance to provide feedback on possible use options being explored by the Commission. And if you can't make it to the forum itself, you can still view the scenario boards in person in the Courthouse Plaza lobby on May 30th between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. You can also see presentation materials online and offer your feedback online. In person or online, there are many ways to make your voice part of the process. Go to commissions.arlingtonva.us slash JFAC to register for the forum, provide feedback after the forum, and follow along with all of the JFAC's progress. Well, that's it for this edition. You can find out more about events going on around Arlington by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking our website at arlingtonva.us. And we'll see you next time around Arlington. Thank you.